When we're talking about taking care of the ocean, we're talking about an area of Hawaii that's called Papa Hanau Moku Akea. Can you say that? Papa, Papa Hanau, Hanau Moku, Moku Akea. Akea. The Papa Hanau Moku Akea Marine National Monument is an area of highly protected ocean habitat in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. The monument is closely tied to the origin story of the Hawaiian people recorded in an ancient chant. The name means where all life springs. Uncle Saul helped come up with the name and is one of the many native Hawaiians with a special connection to this place. Papa Hanau Moku represents the responsibility to care for the place that is our beginning. The designation marked the beginning of a global movement in ocean protection that led to the creation of more than a dozen other large-scale marine protected areas around the world. With the continued threat of global overfishing and the overall decline in the health of our seas, present just outside the monument's current boundaries, Native Hawaiians are working with partners like Pew's Global Ocean Legacy Program to call for an expansion of the monument to the limits of the U.S. exclusive economic zone. Looking at the opportunity to expand the boundaries of Papahanaumoku, uh, for me, represent one small contribution that we can make as part of Hawaii uh, to that global partnership of caring for place. So I'm gonna dig the hole and follow his path all the way down. Having my granddaughter spend her time here with me on this shoreline where I grew up as a child, one day as we were gathering crabs and she asked me, what are we gonna do with this? And I said, oh, this will be our dinner. I had to think about that because if I cannot ensure that that food will be here for her lifetime and beyond, then I'm, I'm not being responsible to place. And then when we take care of a place like that, then there'll be more things available. And so when you want to catch a fish sometime in the future, there will be a fish. You think that's a good idea? Yeah. Yeah. So can you say the name again? Papa. Hanau Moku. Hanau Moku. Akea. Akea. Yeah. Papanaumokuakea is a very special place. There are corals found in the Northwestern Hawaiians that aren't found anywhere else. Bob Richmond is a marine biologist with expertise in climate change and coral reef ecology. In his work, he's seen firsthand the decline in the global health of our seas. And there's no place on Earth that really is um, removed from human influences. And whether it be a local influence like sedimentation or overfishing or poor practices, Nothing can escape climate change right now, and that's one of the reasons why Papa and Aumokuakea is so critically important. It is a way of building resilience in to protect populations that can seed areas that have been damaged uh, due to human influences close by. As the world's largest carbon sink, the ocean plays a critical role in regulating the climate. By increasing ocean health, Marine reserves are one of the most efficient means to protect Earth and its climate. The bigger the monument, the better the impact that it has in terms of achieving the goals and objectives of protection. By establishing a larger boundary, it makes a big difference in terms of adding new deep sea features. In the area proposed for expansion, scientists are discovering new deep sea species, such as fish and invertebrates. Some ecosystems in the area are home to species that haven't been found anywhere else. Expanding the monument will protect these species and the broader ocean ecosystem. We see just a fraction of the world's oceans that are in any kind of protection at all. About 2% of the ocean is designated as highly protected, but scientists say we need to set aside 30% of the ocean to safeguard it for future generations. 
by establishing the a larger boundary that people are hoping for, it will establish the largest marine protected area in the world. No place on Earth is left as a refuge unless we choose to have it. I don't think that Hawaiian culture and science are in conflict. I think there is a lot of overlap. Narissa Spees is a graduate student at the Kewalo Marine Laboratory. I got to go to Midway Atoll, uh, or Pihe Manu in Hawaiian, and it was like nothing I could have expected. There were so many birds there, and it was so noisy but amazing. It had quite an impact on me. Narissa was born and raised in Hawaii. As a child, she went fishing with her father off the Kona coast. When we were going from catching 30 ono in one weekend, down to you're lucky if you get one or two, my dad stopped fishing completely. So I did see that things decline at a, a really quick rate. Narissa wants to ensure this doesn't happen in a place as sacred as Papa Hanau Mokuakea. Not only is it special to me now, but it's been special to my kupuna, my ancestors, you know, the people that came before me. And that is something that, that'll be important for my children and my grandchildren, I hope, one day. Papa no Moko Akea makes you step a little lighter. It reminds me of why I do the work that I do. It's a reset. Pelika Andrade leads students in marine management programs, combining Western science with traditional native practices on the shorelines and ocean landscapes of Hawaii. She visited Midway as a student and realized that her Hawaiian universe was bigger than she initially thought. Going up there makes it Hawaii. Um, and it makes that genealogy and makes that history alive. I truly believe that what we do up there needs to be a reflection and extension of what we do here. The opportunity to expand the monument inspires her to continue to listen and take care of her own backyard. Papahanaumokuakea is definitely speaking to us. A place knows what's best for it. It knows what it needs, and we just have to listen. So what we have here is um, some collections from um, Papahana Mokuakeo. They were some of the first things that were brought back that piqued the curiosity about, you know, what did these islands represent. Kekueva Kikiloi is an archaeologist and cultural expert on Papahana Mokuakea. His research helped uncover the deep connection our ancestors had to these islands. Papahana Mokuakea is really like a, a raw and unfiltered place. You see animals and, and wildlife that interact with you. We have a direct relationship with these animals and we believe that these animals are part of the genealogy of our people. And so when we look at the natural environment, we feel a deep responsibility to want to protect those aspects of the environment because they're an inherent aspect of ourselves. We need to expand Papahana Moko Akea because it's the right thing to do, I think, right now. We have an opportunity to make a statement to the world that we are committed to ocean protection and that we are expanding our monument as well. Across Hawaii, expanding Papa Hanau Mokuakea represents an opportunity to aloha aina, or care for what feeds us. Sal and others, including advocates from the Pew Charitable Trust, took this message to policymakers who can take bold action to care for our ocean. It's clear to me that our children are going to inherit this place, that we all have to contribute to its care. We're at a critical juncture, I think, in the world where um, we can either start to change our policies and the way we manage our planet, or we can go down the same path that we've been going. If we don't set aside areas, there's not going to be anything left. We should expand Papahanaumokuakea because it's something that's sacred to the Hawaiian people. It allows us to pass on a legacy that we can be proud of. I hope we leave an ocean for my granddaughter that will be clean, healthy, and something that will sustain her so that other children will have the same thing she shared.